Hey guys, today, I am going to be taking you through creating a vendor portal, powered by Yeeflow service portal function. By doing this, you can allow vendors, to log into a branded portal, where they can access their data, like purchase orders and invoices, but not see anyone else's data from your application. Let's take a look. So, here we got an application called Procurement Management. You can install this application from our template library. This application is created, for the procurement department to manage, the whole life cycle of the procurement process. Here we have couple of the approval forms, like the purchase requisition form, purchase order request form, payment request form, new supplier request form. Each of the approval form has the workflow inside, with the cross department approval process. There are also couple data lists. The pull records list includes all the submitted purchase orders. Invoice list includes all the invoices, received from the vendors. Supplier list is the database, it includes all the valid vendors for your company. We also created one dashboard, with a nice banner and three quick links. This will be used as the homepage of the new vendor portal. Now, let's create the vendor portal. Go click the settings button, and select service portal. Click configure your service portal button. In the pop-up window, set the portal name, and the portal URL. Set the portal type as private. Then select the components, that you'd like to share to the vendor portal. Once done, click the complete button. After the vendor portal is created, firstly, let's go to users settings, click the configure button. Add a new user for testing purpose. Then go back to the procurement management application. Open the supplier list. Create a new column. Select the field type as user, and set the user type as portal user. Set the display name as vendor account. Let's update the list form to add this field. Click the operation menu of this list, and select forms. Then choose the add account form, and click add a button, to open the list form designer. Drag the vendor account field, to add this field on the top of the form. Select the item of capital holding, click add a button, and select vendor user 1, which was created in the portal users list. Now, the account of vendor user 1 is associated with the vendor named Capital Holding. From the pull records list, create a new view, called My Pull Records. Also add a new user field, called Vendor Account, and set the user type as Portal User. Then in the Data View settings, update the filter condition, add the vendor account and set the value equal to current login user following the same steps to create a new data view called my invoices in the invoice list and create a new vendor account field Then set the filter condition as, vendor account equal to the current login user. Now, let's get back to the service portal setting page, and configure the access permission and forms, of each data list. Select the invoice list, and click the configure button. Under the access column, click to select the checkbox. From the view column, select my invoices data view, and click OK select the add, and edit checkbox to allow vendors to submit new invoices or update existing invoices. Next, in the associated forms section, select submission form as the form of creating new item or editing existing item and click view form as the invoice detail page for the pull records list giving the access permission and select my pull records as the data view. The pull records list will allow vendors to check their purchase orders, but cannot add new, or, edit, existing items. So leave the new, and, edit checkbox, as unchecked. Select the form for supplier form, as the detail page. Under dashboard section, select vendor portal, and click the configure button. Give the access permission to all vendors. 
Click Menu, under the Advanced Settings, section. In the Menu Settings, Page. Set, the Vendor Portal page, as the first page of the Vendor Portal. Upload the custom icon and logo file in the Appearance Settings page. Eight. Now, we've completed all the settings. Let's have a quick test. Open the web browser, type in the URL of the vendor portal. Then input the username and password. Click Login button. The home page is the vendor portal page. From here, you can submit new invoice, check the existing invoices, and purchase orders. On the top of this portal site, you can see the main navigation menu. Click Pull Records menu to open the purchase orders list. This list will only display the orders assigned to the current vendor. Click each item to view the details of the order. Click the attachment to view or download the final purchase order. From the invoice list, vendors can submit new invoice by clicking the Add button. In the Add New Item window, select the related poll and the payment term. Then type in the invoice information. Upload the invoice file in the attachment section. See invoices submitted by vendors. The procurement team will receive the notifications. They can also see the invoices from the invoice list. Click the item to check the detail information and verify the invoice file. After the invoice is confirmed, the procurement team can raise a payment request. Then the finance team will receive a new task. Once the payment is proceed, the finance team can update the payment info and close this request. Once the payment process is completed, from the invoice list, you will see the status of the related invoice has been changed to paid. From the vendor portal, the vendor will also see the updates from the invoice list and detail page. You can extend the capabilities of your vendor portal by adding more functions like vendor verification, quotations, contracts and so on. With the vendor portal, you can collaborate with your vendors more effectively and keep all your data up to date. That's it for a really quick look at how to create a vendor portal using the service portal powered by eFlow.